who's come crawling back to us. Uh, hey everyone, I'm Alfred. I, I honestly didn't expect that to work. I literally uh, can upgrade and scrap at save points. Word. Yeah, I didn't expect that to work at all. I, uh, I thought that I was going to have to do a, a harder, um, a different area. 80. So... Does that mean that I should have been a higher level to come here in the first place? Because that doesn't surprise me. I was uh, so focused on... Um Blades of the Phoenix. Daggers infused with the soul of the Phoenix Rider. Pure fire surges forth from the molten core as though clawing the air. Her laughter can be heard as it engulfs its victims in flames, leeching off their life energy to feed her, their, her undying flames. Attacking enemies creates motes of fire. Crashing down consumes motes. Oh, I think I saw something that did something like that. Man, what a thrill, guys. Um, Sky Tomb. Interesting. Oh. We got a statue. Got all my good stuff to nine. I'm good with that. I guess I'll get it all to ten later. And now we can upgrade and scrap here. We'll leave it. That reminds me. I think a while ago I picked up a better shield. Yeah, I did. Probably could have done that for the uh, boss, huh? Hmm. A lot of drops I'm seeing. Hey. I know where I am. This is where that phoenix was attacking me. And hey, I just got a tome of Ione. Remnant of a disastrous expedition. She's been serving Endless for the past four years. Whether to prove something to Endless or herself, Ioni walks a precarious tightrope while mortal. Interesting. So, I can now actually go after her. But maybe I should just get the second one just in case. Interesting. So I'm here now.
That's now almost one swing for all of them. Pardon me. Just got my buttons confused. Don't mind me, everyone. Honestly, like, the thing is, is that I love it in every game that it appears in. But I have, like, serious problems with games where you can upgrade armor. Because, like, I kind of like it the way that, um, DS3 and Elden Ring and Bloodborne have it. Where all armor is basically the same. And it's like, okay, it'll defend you more, but it'll weigh more. And that's the case for, like, everything. Alduin Halbert, interesting. Yeah, like every single um, piece of armor in those games is like, it'll defend you more, but a little way more. And there's a thing that you can do in Dark Souls where like, you can... Oh, so close. Oh. But not for naught. I will try once more. And then I will go somewhere else. No. Okay, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, God. You know, nothing wastes more time than trying to save time. You know, I'd actually strongly consider doing an LP of uh, Dark Souls 2. But I kind of thought about it a little more and like, I... There's only so much that can be said about any one game. And Dark Souls, like, being the crazy huge hit that it was, like, kind of blew people back with, with everything. And so I kind of don't want to try to go in and say something that I couldn't, that couldn't already be said more eloquently by somebody else. And likely has already been. Um... It's just... Whoops. Gotta be careful. Carefuler, please. Ow. Armor scraps. Interesting. Oh, so they're spawning and they also spawn here automatically. Interesting. Man, coming through this way is really hard. Yeah, there's only so much that can be done or said when it comes to Dark Souls. Messy. Very messy. Messy Al, that's what they call me. Um, and I, I kind of just didn't want to, you know, overextend and just say stuff about Dark Souls that, like, can already be said. Um, one thing that I did do is that I did end up doing that stream of DS1, and I didn't beat it just because I, uh, I got busy with other things. Barbaric Helm. Uh, yeah, I got busy with other things, and I also was not as fond 
Okay, it doesn't actually change my hat. Good. Uh, an adorned helmet lined with fur and adorned... Lined with fur and... Sm horned helmet lined with fur and adorned with small bone charms. Wilth? Small bone charms? A foreigner in a strange land. The expedition has garnered a worldwide attendance, but most were smart enough to not return a second time. Later. So now you will just hassle me. Whoa, that's a kill. This isn't the way I'm going. That leads back down to the Rider Passage. Cool. Right, you. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to come back and do that thing later. Cool. So now 13 plus 13 and 4. So I'm at like 23 and 14 for that. Word. Clean living. All right. Um, yeah, I didn't ultimately, like, find too, too much to do with streaming. It's, like, kind of alright. It's fun, I guess. But I, um... I kind of didn't want to be, you know, trying to find time to stream. Because just recording is fun for me. Um, and I like that I can record something and then just say, okay, now that'll be up. And I can then, you know, have something go up every day that way. I might, you know, I just like that a little better. Um, I've honestly actually thought about doing, like, pre-recorded streams. Um, but, you know, ultimately, there's only so much that I can do for, um, you know, LPing Dark Souls 2 that hasn't already been seen. Hmm. Let's do that loop again just to see. If there's only so much that I, I can do in um, uh, LPing a Souls game, that'll make it interesting. The thing is, is that like... Dark Souls 2 is different enough that I, I feel like I might be able to do a little more. But the thing is that when Dark Souls 2 came out, like... It was such a thing of, like, a few people had LP'd the first game, and everyone watched those LPs. And then by the time we were uh, onto something else, people had, you know, played those games in their own time. And then... When DS2 came out, everyone was like, well, now that I've played DS1 on my own time, let's go back and play DS2. 
or let's go and play DS2. Because they hadn't done it yet. Oh, buddy. Come to hear more about item properties, huh? Well, the higher a shield rating, the less stamina it consumes when blocking attacks. For example, a B rating blocks about 25% more effectively, while an A rating blocks 50%, and hmm. an A rating blocks 75%. The higher a weapon rating, the more damage it deals per point in finesse or strength you invest. Great sword, great hammer, halberd, axe, and longsword are all strength scaling weapons. Daggers, spears, scythes, and bows are all finesse scaling weapons. Less finesse. Homes and certain abilities scale with intelligence. Now make sure you level up the right stats. If you find an enchanter, you can also upgrade certain items with soul stones and immortalite. Only weapons, helms, boots, and capes can be enchanted. If you feel you have a lot of useless items, you should find a disenchanter to turn them into soul stones. Now, carry it. Thanks. Don't think I have anything here that I want from you. So this will give me bonus damage on the bosses, I guess. Hmm. Okay, these things blew my guard open last time I was here. I love this castle. Bear Trap has five uses that regenerate at death idols. Huh. And it comes back at idols. Whoa, what? When did this get here? Uh, reduces damage received. Like insects caught in amber, this feather has been trapped in a crystal for eons. And it's a bigger heal. However, it's not a more heal. Interesting. I've got a spare of these. Those are things I don't have interest in. And I have a spare of you. I think it's a little silly that they give you a, like, weapon that's upgraded. Remember to dis Cause sometimes I feel like there's no point to use anything else but, you know? That's a thing that they actually do in Dark Souls 2. Okay, these are great sword. Not long sword, but I'll keep them in mind in case I want a great sword. So I'm heading here. All right. Care Siaurai. Dark Souls. Um, okay. So there was this way along the top and this middle way. And I don't know if I can go... That's now one. Okay, so they can be dashed through, but it is unlikely that I will block it. I actually uh, rewatched my playthrough of uh, Blasphemous. The bulwark is a creature of habit, molded by obedience, planted by the ascended, his roots run deep. 
The bulwark is a relic of the Altaire. 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 Ailtire and their soulcraft. His armor, a walking coffin, is the progenitor of the Hallowed Knights at his command. Okay, so the big guys all have armor based off their boss. Oh. I saw those pus sacks earlier. Alright. I don't think I'm getting through. But yeah, I was really thinking about, um... Wow! You blew my guard open. But yeah, I was thinking about doing DS2, and then I was also thinking about doing, um... Perhaps I was mistaken in choosing you Shut up, Death. Mission. I was also thinking about doing Lords of the Fallen, and then I realized, like, it's been a couple of months since I started Unworthy, and hated it so much that I never went back. Um, which is actually kind of atypical for me, because normally I, Alfred, like to L uh, LP games in full. I might be able to get that then. Um, I hate leaving games left, you know, unfinished. Just a Gaia leaf. Haha. <laughs> oh, and there's more over here. Okay. Let's grab the, um, let's grab that area. Make a little circle. You know, circle back on myself. Oh, you're a crystal lizard. <laughs> You'll never resist my stupid <laughs> bear trap moves. Uh, 73 damage to 71 damage. 14 strength. Wow. Uh, Ferred by the elite guardians of Karasiorai. The outcast knights of Vildredor worked with the ancient architects to consolidate the strength. They were granted immortality in exchange for an eternity of servitude. Attacking enemies creates modes of lightning. Crash down consumes the modes. I don't even have the juice. I am juiceless. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I have finished out this zone. Spellblade. This is an int sword. Cool. Actually, there's more over here. Um. Yeah, I was totally thinking about doing Lords of the Fallen, but like, I realized that like this was on my like to do as well. And, like, if I'm just in the mood for a Souls game, then why not, you know? This is the right side. Let's have a sit then, huh? That was a mini boss at the very least. He should give me some juice to... Yes. Two eighty on the next. <laughs> Got it. This isn't exactly a shortcut, I will say. All 
All right, I guess this is the way to go then. Perfect block. Yeah, that's the parry. Got it. Parry those guys. Those guys are parry tutorials. Read you loud and clear, sir. Did you drop something? No, just your soul. Now, this reminds me of an area in Salt and Sanctuary. I got trolled by that knight. That's just a picture of a knight. It's a statue. Eh? Are you another Soren clone? Serpent Barrage. Uh, it's... <laughs> Guy in blood. Serpent Barrage is a uh, million stabs from Devil May Cry. But with a spear. And a plus two Vado spear. Oh, you're a... Uh... Hmm. You're finesse, so I don't really need to care that much. Interesting that they give you plus one upgraded versions of default weapons. Fragile Courage. Oh, another one of you. Just a normal guy guarding a plume upgrade? I get my way, get out of my way. Insolent mortal. Your struggle is meaningless. Only one has entered all of recent memory. Uh-huh. I'm noticing a lot of like dragonborns running around, which is to say the DD style dragonborn. Noticing this symbol. This has to be a symbol of like breaking. Like when you get the juice for it, you can you can smash down. Know your place amongst the rabble who claw at our gates. Hell awaits. You're the bulwark, but I have two tomes. Thirty reinforcement what the Like, guys will show up? Oh, that those words say shield break. Yeah. So he does. He summons... That's cool. I guess that makes sense. This is awesome. Just you and me, and all my guards. Story of my life. And then that ability fills up my bar again, my stamina bar. And it also makes it so I can more easily get. Feel the fury of the heavens. 
Yeah. That fills up my bar. It fills up my bar, and then I can fill up the magic bar quicker. Sorry, I'm trying to think, but I'm also focusing on this awesome fight. This is so cool. Like, you empty your stamina bar on normal attacks, and then you empty your magic bar, and then you can refill your stamina bar and use all that new stamina to refill your magic bar, and the magic bar fills up faster. That was awesome! That was so cool! Of her, huh? <laughs> that was so cool! Come on! Gonna give me a double jump? Yes, please. Absolutely. I will take a double jump, sir. These glasses are new and some sometimes they make my eyes a little like blurry. I'm just adapting to them, I guess. That was that was such a cool fight. I've actually died a less than I thought I would have. There's like a uh, there's like a rhythm to the way that um, rogue uh, not rogue uh, uh, Castlevanias give you abilities. Like you always get a double jump, you always get an air dash, um, you know stuff like that. And I remember that, like, one thing kind of interesting about Hollow Knight is that, like, Hollow Knight gives you... Oops. You've another from Vildredor that accompanies you. Oh, an exile, judging by his stump. The hunt flows through his veins like a violent river. Consider that a friendly warning. Is he talking about that guy who walks along with me sometimes? Double jump's the best, dude. I would double jump in real life if I could. Level ups are available. Let's round that out. Let's put another one on you. All right, we'll take it. I don't need to do vitality as much just because I have so much in vid already. Wow, that was an awesome fight. I'm going to be thinking about that. Um... Well, until next time, I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been Death's Gambit. Uh, it's 20 bucks on Steam, and it's super worth it. It's a really cool game. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.